What's up guys, welcome back again. This is another updated video for the Oxygen OS build 3.5.3 which is a community build and uh, which is uh, targeted to combine the Hydrogen OS which is a China exclusive and to merge with the Oxygen OS. So that's why there's two separate builds going on. We are getting features from this community build to the Oxygen OS uh, for the OnePlus 3 year. and we'll be talking about in this video how you can install that and some of the stuff like uh, regarding my installation experiences and in this video we'll be only checking out uh, the official change log and I will be keep on looking that one since I just now installed the build uh, just a couple of minutes back so I will keep on looking that and hopefully as usual I will try to bring out some 10 or 20 plus feature whatever I may found out a small noticeable changes that are not mentioned on the OnePlus website so as you can see on the screen this is the official OnePlus page for the uh, 3.503 so you can read the necessary steps of the installation and they have clearly point out it doesn't need any twerp or any rooted device you just simply can use uh, this how you can reboot phone to recovery and the steps are clearly simple as you can see you have to use install uh, via usb and you need a computer otherwise you cannot do that and some adb site load command and all the stuff and if you have any extra doubts and all you can definitely go and check that out and also if you just take a look on this one plus three forum so make sure to read this one plus three forum there are a lot of good information in case you're stuck in some places and if you do a comment me uh, if i'm unfortunately not able to reply you on time so you can look on the one plus forum you can just check out any kind of issues so th these are the changes mentioned by them so exactly there are uh, nine to ten changes in and some of the important points mentioned here so uh, there is one known issues incompatibility with twerp here so if you have stalled with a twerp so your twerp will be replaced with the stock recovery of the oneplus so uh, i installed my build with the twerp here so it will be replaced by the stock recovery in case you further want to install twerp again so there is also a separate video so you can check that out how can install twerp recovery so for installing you can either use twerp here or you can directly go to the recovery or you can use ATB whatever you prefer so i prefer to use installing with the twerp here so the twerp was perfectly working but i if you have installed on 3.502 so it should work because i have installed in that way as you can see so once you are in the recovery either by the physical keys or by using twerp manager so just navigate to your file and click on uh, confirm to flash once you flash that you need to make sure to uh, do this uh, you know wipe uh, talvik and cache it will be always good because you know you will get all the app uh, preferences clear cache here so it was always good to do that and then you can easily go and reboot your system so it might take five to six minutes depends on you know uh, how many number of apps you are installed that so this is way how i install that use AOSP clock as a default so if you go inside you will find only one clock application so pay to that plus couple of them so here's one only clock this is android default clock application that you will catch you can now uninstall uh, some of the applications that you really don't want for example there is a weather application if you don't want to use that weather application that are coming with the phone and if you're relying on some other application you can uninstall that so taking an example if you just go inside this weather you can see you get this uninstall button if you just click on uninstall it will simply remove the application so it was not possible in the previous build because these things are coming as a preload here so you cannot do with it now you can not all but couple of the apps like weather file manager recorder music player these kinds of things you can take that and also guys there's a new change like uh, now you can take a uh, expanded screenshot so on the previous one when you simply take one uh, three finger gestures so you can take a screenshot now as simple you can see if i just take any screenshot from here so it shows here expanded so you can click here and you can do separate scrolling so it will take some uh, you know long screenshot so that way you can do that i'll play with that thing here and try to figure out how long it will take so maybe i will come back with a new video so this is uh, based on the, some samsung note feature in which you can do these kinds of stuff so looks like uh, some new features request came for oxygen os 2 and there's a new feature added to this uh, cellular data uh, firewall so that means uh, you can exactly control which app you want to uh, configure so that it can use either mobile data or it can either use Wi-Fi alright so if I just take an example YouTube here so if you go to this section here called data you said you can see you can exactly configure that disable Wi-Fi and disable the app connect to internet while use Wi-Fi disable data usage so you can exactly control here uh, whether you want YouTube to work on the Wi-Fi or the mobile data and some new stuff here uh, added favorite contact setting in priority mode so to get that feature you need to simply come here on the setting here 
just type uh, priority here p r i o so you get priority only allows so here you can see favorite contact setting if you just go inside you can see you can easily configure your contacts you can add them to a favorite settings menu adjusted in the messages application also if you just go inside this messaging application settings you can see uh, it has been redesigned and some new features added for example you can also enable receive sms vibrate which was not in the previous build and apart from that the content ui has been redesigned if you are running community build for example 3.5.2 or 3 and if you are not happy with that you want to go back to the official update like 3.2 branch so you cannot uh, uh, it was not possible to roll back because some issues were coming due to you know stock recovery concepts were there now you can easily go back to that you need to just download that uh, official build you need to flash that again either you can use twerp or you can use the adb commands as shown at the starting of the video you can easily roll back to the previous page all right and the last change is some general bug fixes which means some internal things are there uh, which we need to figure out so that's all guys about this video and uh, i'll keep on looking so this is just about the official change log so give me one or two days time i'll try to figure out some minor changes if there are any noticeable changes we'll come back with a new video and hope you guys find this video helpful this is sort of stay tuned i'll talk to you next video